All right, let's get to my next guest of the evening. She's got a track out called Move Your Body featuring Bambi. That song goes on all the platforms. You can also watch the music video on YouTube. I'm drawing Kara Dawn right here, right now. How's it going? How's it going, man? Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to have you on the show. Thank you so much. And shout out to your manager um, as well for making this happen. Appreciate it. Yes. Josh is amazing. Shout out. Shout out to Josh. Absolutely. So we'll <laughs> definitely get to the Move Your Body joint. I've seen the music video several times. Um, it's, it's fire. It's a, it's a dope track. Shout out to Bambi. She did her thing um, as well. She sure did. Thank yeah, you. so. The sure. track is actually, it's Need Your Body. Need Your like Body. I need that. My body. <laughs> need, move, you know, need your body. Gotcha. I mean, we're moving in the video a lot, so I can understand the mistake for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the first one that I actually did some real choreo in. It wasn't much, but it was a little something. Okay. We'll, we'll definitely get to more of of that song in a bit. Um, so, so where are you from? I see, I noticed... Tulsa? You from Oklahoma? Or where, where, where are you from? I am from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Born in Tulsa, St. John's Hospital. Gotcha, gotcha. So shout out to the Oklahomans uh, folks out there. I think you're the first Oklahoma artist I've got on the show. I'm used to Texas and Missouri and some other areas in the Midwest and the South. But you're my first Oklahoma artist. I got on the show, so that's pretty cool. Well, I'm honored to be your first Oklahoma artist. We got a lot of talent out here, actually, so I'm sure I won't be your last. Hey, I'm look for I'm I'm I'll take pride of supporting um, independent artists from anywhere. So, um, so all the Oklahoma artists out there, if you got some music, you got some fire, you know, come come holler at me, and uh, I'll be more than happy to feature you on the show and play your music and all that stuff. So let's definitely make that happen for sure. So, so Kara, we'll focus with you. Um, talk about you getting into music. How did it start off for you? Um, I mean, it really just started off whenever I was old enough to consider singing. Like I was probably like five whenever I first realized that I liked to sing. And then I was six whenever I performed in front of my first audience for a talent show. Wrote my first song at eight. Um, and it's actually, <laughs> I'm considering releasing it because I don't know how as an eight-year-old little girl, I was dealing with such like mature subject matter, but it's about like heartbreak, which I never experienced at that age. Um, and seeing your partner with somebody else and all this stuff. And so I'm like, I might, I might just have to bring that out and see if people fuck with it. I don't know. We'll see. Wow. So you did your first song at the age of eight years old. Yeah. And it's just been in the archives since then. I just wrote it and kind of sang it to myself for a long time. Um, and now that I look back on it, I'm like, maybe, maybe this is something I could release. As an adult, <laughs> uh, yeah, I say go Something for called it. Called if I were you, then you'll know. Okay, okay. With respect, you know, a lot of people write songs like into the teens or maybe into their twenties. You know, I guess it depends what people are going through at the time. You did your first song at that age of eight, so regardless of the circumstances, that's incredible. Um, and, it, and it shows that, hey, kids want to do something in their life. They want to, they feel like they're willing to try something. So, so props to eight year old Kara for, 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 you know, for doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so as far as, you know, your music, um, people like to put artists in a box, obviously, trying to figure out like what type of music they do, like, it seems like nowadays, most artists be doing, trying to do like multiple genres at, uh, at once. Um, for people that's not familiar with your music, how would you describe the type of music that you do? Um, I generally 
tell people that it's eclectic because I'm an eclectic person. I mean, I do musical theater professionally as well. So my music that I write, my original music, can so far has been anywhere from R&B to pop to rap, um, neo soul. We'll see. We'll see where we go with it. I have a lot of songs that are unreleased currently. So I'll see kind of how we how we land after I've got a few more releases out there. I think it's going to end up just being a don't put me in a box genre, <laughs> like you said, because I I need to have that freedom, you know, of self-expression and the opportunity to create that's not. I mean, there are artists that are like Janae Aiko. You can always count on her. And and I love a, an artist that you can rely on for a specific vibe. I am not that artist. <laughs> <laughs> Being honest, you can't rely on me to keep it smooth and cool. Every time I drop a song, there's some like sultry. You know, sometimes it's abrasive. Sometimes it's really poppy and fun. Sometimes I'm a mean bitch because I got to write a diss track because somebody hurt my feelings. You know, you just never know. You know, don't put me in the box. That that should be considered a genre at this point, cause that's what I mean. If you listen to a lot of music, it's like people got multiple genres put together. Um, so that if Billboard don't have a quote unquote "Don't put me in a box" genre, as far as the charts or whatever, they should. That that needs to be an award show for that. Like you not if you are just one job, you're not qualified. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it feels like, and I like, and I like artists, you know, evolving, you know, and and showing different sides of artists that's willing to to step out of the comfort zone, if you will, and 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 do these type of tracks, which I love. I love some neo soul. I love R and B, hip hop. I'm I'm a unicorn at this point in my life. I listen to anything, uh, so I'm, it's whatever whatever gets me in the mood, you know. So um, I'm definitely Absolutely. yeah. So so and, and I love Janae Akio as well. I like her music. She 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 know what she doing. Uh, I like her um, absolutely. So let's talk about this track. And I'm going to get the name of the song right. Need Your Body is the name of the track. Need Your Body featuring Bambi. That definitely looked like, just looking at the music video, y'all look like y'all had a lot of fun in that music video. So with that all being said, <laughs> with that all being said, uh, just, just talk about putting that song together and getting Bambi on the track. Just talk about how that can that track came to be. So what's funny about Need Your Body is I wrote that in 2016 and um, I had just bought like a beat pack and I picked from a few beats that this guy sent me. Uh, shout out Jason Coker, Word. Um, he sent me some beats. I picked the ones that I wanted and I paid for exclusives and then I just sat on those beats. I wrote to them but I was like, something was holding me back from releasing music for several years. And then I was like, oh, this is perfectionism. And there's no such thing as perfect. I need to start releasing my shit. So, um, Need Your Body, I had everything but the second verse written. And nothing was coming to me after that little, um, I guess you would call it a bridge. I don't know. The little, the little number that I do right before Bambi comes in. After that, for some reason, I had a hard time. Like, I had wrote something that I thought was okay, but I was like, I don't know if I really want to use that. And then I had the idea to hit her up and see if she would be interested. And I was like, let's see what she does with it. And she absolutely murked the track. I was like, this is better than I anticipated. Um, and then for the video, that was actually my birthday party. And I was like, y'all pull up for a video shoot. Like, you know, come celebrate with me, but also know that we're going to be filming. So <laughs> wear bright colors. You know, I got water guns. I got bubbles on deck. We got balloons, beach balls. It's going to be fun. Um, but the fun, 
the fun moment, the fun behind the scenes moment that was not caught on camera because there was one where I forgot my nails whenever we first started filming and I had to stop. But there was another moment where when I jumped into the pool, um, I didn't know that the bottom of the pool wasn't going to be like fluffy, like the sides of the pool. Mm -hmm. So that's like a bitch, but we got the shot and I was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen. To break my fall. Man, that's, wow. it was, Yeah, it was funny. I love that story because it's like, just like a, a moment that really commemorates the video. People are like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. I'm like, yeah, I literally belly flopped onto ground, solid ground. Mm. Um, but we got the shot, and that is what is important because it looks like I had a good time jumping in that pool, and I did until I knew what was going on at the bottom. <laughs> hey, it's a birthday party, people having fun, you know, being getting turned up, and some things here and there happen, you know. But hey, at the end of the day, man, got this video out. It's a dope track, and again, shout out to Bambi. She as you said three hours ago via, uh, via Facebook, she murdered the second verse. Uh, she she definitely did her thing. So check out the track, Carol Dawn featuring Bambi, Need Your Body is the name of the song. The music video is getting a lot of views and uh, and it, it's, it was literally her birthday party. So uh, it doesn't get any better than that as far as doing a music video. It definitely feels like a summer anthem. Um, warm weather, bras, panties, and all that stuff. It's uh, the vibes was right for that song. It was a good time, uh, indeed. So check out Need Your Body from Carol and Bambi. That's on all the platforms. And the music video is on YouTube. So go watch it and uh, tell your friends about it, too. Um, so what, what, what else is next? For for Kara, you mentioned you know you got some more songs in the works. Um, what what's your next moves uh, in the coming weeks and months? So the Airbnb that I rented for Need Your Body, um, the reason I rented that Airbnb was because as an actor and somebody who's worked in film as well, I <laughs> I looked at this Airbnb and I was like, this is like five different sets in one so we filmed two other videos while i had that airbnb but they're completely different aesthetics completely different vibes one of the songs is like really sad and like um guttural and like uh it's like it's like feminine rage and feminine intuition whenever a man is doing you wrong but it's like not not from the perspective of the other tracks that i've written that kind of call the man out that like did me wrong, but I'm speaking as uh, like a third party to the man who, you know, has a woman at home, but he's out there doing her dirty, basically. Um, that is called Take, and that's going to be released this fall sometime, probably in November, but I want to make sure that the video is right, so I'm not going to put an exact date on that yet. Um, there's another video that we filmed called Perfect. And that's about, you know, meeting somebody who you feel like is really perfect for you. That's a really beautiful aesthetic, completely different aesthetic from need your body or take. So I hope y'all enjoyed that, you know, knowing that that was filmed at the same location. <laughs> All three of those were filmed at the same location. Uh, perfect should be released sometime this fall as well. But I do have a duet that's more like a soulful vibe that I did with my friend Caesar, my very, very good friend. He's an amazing vocalist. Check him out. Uh, we've got a song coming out. It should be at the end of this month, actually, if not at the beginning of September. Um, and it's called What You Did, and it's a super sexy, sultry, fun vibe. We've got a saxophone in there. Um, I hope y'all like that one. I love that one. I've never twerked to my own music when I got a mix back until I heard this song. <laughs> so, I was so excited. 
uh, whenever we heard the mix and everything was just how we wanted it after we had given a couple notes for like previous mixes, we heard it back and we were both just elated because um, our engineer, that boy Conroy, he actually just, he's got an amazing ear. So it was super cool to hear that back and be like, this is exactly how we wanted it to sound. That doesn't usually happen, you know, with at least not in my experience so far. So that was super cool. But he also, I should have probably known because he also did Graveyard and that was almost exactly how I wanted it as well. So it was super cool to do that. That's going to be coming out, um, like I said, probably the end of this month, August 2022, um, potentially early September 2022. So be on the lookout for What You Did by Tara Dawn and Caesar CZR. I'm definitely looking forward to the music, to the new music you have uh, on the way, the duets and everything. Um, so you represent Tulsa, Oklahoma to the fullest. Um, so I live in Kentucky. And when people think of Kentucky, they think of bourbon. They think of horses. They think of basketball. Yep. Um now, I guess my my perception of Oklahoma, I mean, I know Oklahoma from, um, from football. I also know it because of a guy named Jim Ross. He's a legendary wrestler, commentator, young Slobberknock back in the Attitude Era days. I was, I'm a huge wrestling fan, obviously. Um, so, from your perspective, um, how would you describe uh, Oklahoma as a state as far as interests and things like that? Uh, I'm very curious to hear uh, um, how would you describe Oklahoma, the vibe and everything? You know, Oklahoma is, it's not as um, podunk, <laughs> if you will, as most people think. But, I mean, you know, we, we do have a lot of history here, and we're having to come from a place of, from a different mental place of understanding as Oklahomans, especially as Tulsans, because of the Tulsa race massacre that occurred in 1921. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually have a project, a community project called Fire in Little Africa. Um, here in Tulsa that's telling that story and there's a lot of really talented Tulsa musicians on that project I'm not on the project but I have friends who are and it's amazing you know that we're finally coming out and, and really like getting this story out there because it's not something that was taught to us you know so this being Oklahoma <laughs> there's there's the vibes of the people who fought to be who they are, who they naturally are. And that goes for the LGBTQ community as well. So, you know, we're coming into a time in 2022 where everybody's completely unapologetic and, you know, taking their power back. But Oklahoma has been one of those states that was very oppressive, um, very judgmental towards anybody that's not a cis straight white male, right? So, mm -hmm. Um, I'm honored to be living in a time where the pendulum is beginning to swing the other direction, if you will. Yeah. Um, the vibe out here in Tulsa, more recently, our music scene has become a lot more um, lively. We have a lot more going on. We have a lot more support within our music community. But, you know, I mean, it's always good to connect with people outside of your state and and network so i'm really honored to be on your show right now all the way from kentucky thank you for having me for real that's so awesome that you even know who i am and know my music and that you see my video and that you like it <laughs> i appreciate that kenny thank you for having me for real yes absolutely um it's it's great to have you on the show um i take pride of being a supporter of independent music and I'm just you know it's like a, a venture 
to me. Like I'm always looking to see uh, who's out there, who's got the who got some music that that I can really really listen to. Um, and I see that we have mutual friends and uh, and Adrian Gilmore. Um, so I think I may have seen yeah. him um, posted your video somewhere, and that's my introduction to Kara Dawn. Uh, so yeah. I like his music. I really do. Uh, so it's uh, it's awesome. Um, thank you for the history lesson as well. You know, it feels like struggle is still out there. You know, Oklahoma, Kentucky, everywhere in this country, and people just fighting for 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 e for equality. And uh, you know, that's you know, we got we got to keep at it and 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 be supportive of people. That's as in as that's fighting for 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 whites you know what i'm saying so um that's definitely the way to go and uh music has a way of bringing people together um so so i'm i'm, I'm very thankful to have known um Kara Dawn, not just the recording artist but um Kara Dawn, the person and what you are about and, and so respect to you as an as an artist and as a person for 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 bringing that up so respect to you and uh i'm very very happy to have you on the show and look forward to seeing you continue growing and evolve as an artist and get more familiar with uh with with oklahoma independent music scene out here so um i i thank you uh so she got a lot of songs coming your way in late summer, early fall. So um, I see you on on Instagram. So go go follow Kara Dawn, and uh, the IG is Kara underscore Dawn underscore Music. Uh, so go hit that follow button and uh, go support the the Need Your Body joint. And uh, support your local artists. You know, they would really, truly appreciate the support. It is so good to have you on the show this evening. Thank you so much. You got any final words you want to say to the fans and to anyone out there? Just continue to be yourself and do what you love because there's a reason that you're gifted with the passions and talents that you have. Um, also, follow me on TikTok, Caradon Music, and it's Caradon Music on YouTube as well. I've got seven videos out. See which one's your favorite. Need your body is definitely my favorite thus far. So I'll be watching. <laughs> I'll be watching um, the rest of the videos once I get off the air to get more familiar of the evolution that is Caradon. And I'm very yes. eager. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I'll, you're in I'll, the inbox now, so just hit me and let me know. I will. I definitely will. Um, thank you for being on the show. Continue success, and uh, I look forward to hearing more from you in the future. And uh, thanks again for your time. Thank you, Kenny. Have a good night.